welcome back to another hiking CPA. This time we're still coming to you from the Saga Truck Trail. And this time we're starting up right here. And this is also a great point of view on the other side. As you can see cars passing. This has a great parking spot that I definitely suggest. On the other side there's a trail that goes right by the lake. So you can actually see it. A nice beautiful view. And in the meantime we're going to be hiking back up this Universal Trail right 10 feet away. And talk today to Connecticut residents specifically. It's a little special we're going to be doing about the Connecticut child tax rebates. So once I find a place to sit down, we're going to go from there. So just to show a little bit of the Zoom personal Trail entrance where it is, it's just right here. It's kind of easy to miss because right down here, there's another parking spot. So if you kind of focus on, on that as if the child's there, then you'll miss this one. It's just right here. So just want to point that out as we begin this little hike. All right, I'm here. I found a really cool spot where you can see a corner of these stone walls, a couple corners right here. I thought this would be a really cool spot to just quickly talk about the Connecticut special. So Connecticut signed into law a child tax rebate. And this rebate is $250 per child for up to three children. And how do you de determine those children? Those are the children that are listed on 21 tax return. It's that simple. And so they're using 21 kind of as a gauge to see. So there are income limitations with this rebate. The main income limitation is for marital and joint. And this is, if you made less than 200,000, and maybe that's pretty much your AGI, how much tax, how much income you have reported on your Connecticut return. If it's less than 200,000, they can get the full 250 per child, up to three children, so max is 750. If it's over 200,000, but less than 210, then you'll get a sliding scale of the amount. And so when you go and apply for this rebate, you'll be able to find out at that time. I'm gonna leave a link down below on where to apply. And it's basically just going to the Connecticut Taxes website, DRS's website, and logging in and applying there. You actually have to apply. If you don't apply before July 31st, starting on June 1st, which is in a day or two, to July 31st. If you don't apply during this time period, then you will not receive any of these rebates. And here's the reason why you may not want to apply. And that is because if you did an itemized deduction back in 2021, then this acts as a refund of the taxes paid. So in 2022, you'll actually have to pay taxes on it as if you received income. So, you know, some people might say it's not worth it. Some people will say it's worth it. For the most part, I'd say for most of you guys, it'll probably be worth it. If it's not, then something you just kind of look at and talk to your tax accountant and figure that out with them or just look at your taxes as well and see if it will qualify, if you guys are good or not, and the tax consequences of it. So remember, this is basically 18 years or younger and it's on your 21, 2021 tax, Connecticut tax return. Those people, those kids listed on there, those are the ones we're taking. And you'll be able to get this rebate for it. Again, this is a refund more than really a rebate they call it rebate, but it acts as a refund. And those thresholds, just really quick, for mirror flying joint, it's 200, 210. Mirror flying single, or I'm sorry, mirror flying separate is 100 to 110, and single is 100 to 110, and head of household is 160 to 170. Within that range, you'll get something. Anything above that range, this rebate doesn't apply to you. Anything below that, you should get the full rebate. So, Check the link below. If you don't have an account with ZRS, go ahead and sign one up, get one, and have this and have fun with this rebate that you now are able to use maybe for you know camps or for gas or that vacation you want to do or any other reason you need this money for. Right now it's just a great time to have it, especially with gas prices soaring up. It's nice to have something more than you might not have had before. So make sure you you know go down below, click on the link and 
go ahead and apply for that rebate as early as you can. The earlier, the better. So that way, it's just off your mind and you don't miss that Ju July 31st deadline. Until next time, happy trails. Alright guys, as a follow-up, I was just on that trail, the Universal Trail, I made a left, and brought me to this main road right here. The trail continues on, kind of obvious. But what I want to point out is not so much the trail, but how the trail goes. And again, I kind of don't really like this, but I know trails do this. This one goes across onto this driveway. You can see the blue marker just above on the street as you're hiking down the driveway. And eventually, driveway, and you come up and you hit this bench just on these people's driveway. Um, I'm assuming it's probably like a sitting bench for the school bus. I'm not really sure what it is, but you can hit this bench. Right here. Well, I'm calling it a bench. And you can hit this little bench right here. And you can see this bench right here. And you can see up on the, on it, tells you to start out this way. So just be careful of that, you know, be respectful, especially as you're walking on other people's property. You should be respectful anyways of the trail, but especially as you're walking on other people's property, be extra respectful of it and be mindful that, you know, cars could be coming down or people can be coming down. So just pick, take those precautions and happy trails.